It's been a week since the National Park Service has closed the trails and the roads to the public. And as you can see, not everyone is minding these barricades. One business says they're determined to defy the shutdown. Ignoring the barricade, Larry McMillan made his way into Big South Fork National Park on the 12 mile trail to Cherrick Creek Lodge. Visitors can only come by horse or by foot, but as we arrive, there were no customers in sight. We have everything in place. There's no reason for me, in my mind, to be closed. So in our mind, we're not closed, even though we don't have customers. The government owns the cabins built in the early 1800s, but for 20 years, McMillan has been commissioner of the lodge. This place is not just a business. This is a way of life. Originally complying with the government shutdown, McMillan says now the beds are made, the dining room set, and he's ready to reopen. I would not be the one to say that you cannot come. I, I'm here. I'm committed to my customers. The Long and Necker family had reservations at Cherry Creek, but were told yesterday it was closed because of the shutdown. We planned it about um, for over a year. He says if McMillan is truly reopening, his family is willing to take the risk. We've seen some closure signs at some of the trailheads, um, but we've politely ignored them and continued into the park. For decades, Cherrick Creek has been a place of solitude, but McMillan says without his guest, it's a graveyard. It's like a playground with no children. That's a bad sound. And until the visitors return, the lodge is as good as closed. The National Park Service has told Mr. McMillan it is unacceptable to bring guests into the lodge while the shutdown continues. In Big South Fork, Alexis Dodos, 6 News 19.